Good day. My name is Craig Antinui, and I am posted at Government High School. The subject that I'm teaching is food and nutrition, and the topic of today's lesson is measuring ingredients accurately. The lesson is appropriate for grade levels 10 to 12. The students that I prepared this lesson for aren't really struggling with their literacy skills. However, into the lesson to make the lesson more engaging, and the strategies that are implemented in this lesson as a way to review the previous topic, and also the use also, of poetry. poetry. I began the lesson with the use of a visual organizer or a graphic organizer on kitchen tools and equipment. The, pre the previous lesson was on kitchen tools and equipment, and just as a way to review the method, the graphic organizer. On, on screen, screen is the graphic organizer that I displayed in class. What is a graphic organizer? A graphic organizer is a type of visual aid that shows connections between ideas, concepts, and facts. In particular, it directs the student's thought process as they construct and complete the visual organizer. So in this case, the topics are cutting tools, measuring tools, and mixing tools. And the connection between them are they are all kitchen tools. Seeing the information in this form and making that correlation will help students to retain the information better. The second literacy strategy that I used in this lesson was a written literacy strategy in the form of poetry. Poetry is a literary work in which the use of a particular style and rhythm gives the expression, gives the expression or feelings of an idea. I, I use the assessment as a way to get them to thinking about what they just learned. How could they express the way that, that you measure ingredients correctly in the form of a poem? This is an example of one of the students' poems on the screen. For this assignment, the students scored between 71% and 100%. So these scores are evident that the students learned the objectives of today's lesson. The second lesson that I taught to implement my literacy strategy was labor and time-saving equipment. The subject again is food and nutrition. This is the same 10th grade class at the Government High School and the strategy is appropriate for grades 10 through 12. In this lesson, I utilize the word wall and the frame model as my literacy strategies. I began the lesson with the use of a word wall on labor and time-saving equipment. In the previous lesson, we discussed kitchen tools and equipment and I utilized the graphic organizer for that topic. Labor and time-saving equipment is just another branch of kitchen tools and equipment. And I use the word wall to help students remember the different examples and to increase their vocabulary in the subject. What is a word wall? A word wall is a literacy tool that are composed of an organized collection of words which are displayed in large visible letters on the wall, a bulletin board, or any other display surface in the classroom. In this case, the organized collection of words 
are labor and time saving equipment. So for example, like a microwave, a pressure cooker, toaster, electric can openers, these are all examples of labor and time saving equipment. And these were discussed and learned in our lesson today. The second strategy that I implemented was the Freya model. A Freya model is a model of concept learning that includes examples and non-examples. The Freya model is a model seen below on the screen. It includes the definition, the facts or characteristics, examples of the topic, and non-examples of the topic. In this lesson, I divided the students into groups, and both groups were tasked with finding the definition of labor and time saving equipment, its facts and characteristics, so what makes a labor and time saving equipment a labor and time saving equipment? Examples of labor and time saving equipment and non examples. In the video clip coming up next, you will see this process in action.
In conclusion, during my five weeks at Government High School, I really enjoyed my experience in the classroom. I taught 10 lessons between food and nutrition and clothing and instruction, grade 10 and grade 11 this semester. And each week, I improved my skills as a teacher. Throughout this class, I learned that although I am a specialist, it is still important as a specialist to refine and improve students' literacy skills in my class. Because everyone needs literacy in every class. The strategies that I used in these two lessons were effective, and it's evident through my students' assessment scores. They scored well on both assignments, and this is due to the literacy strategies that I implemented. I will use these strategies and others that I learned in this class in my teaching practice and when I enter the field as a trained teacher because they've proven to work. 